All right, guys, welcome back to Portal Reloaded. Yesterday, we got up to Chamber 12, this one. And uh, I had some ideas about how we might be able to solve this. And one of them was to use the portal on there to sort of flip it out. However, it seems like because that panel didn't exist in the same location in the past as it did in the present, it wouldn't let us do anything with that. However, I have been thinking about this off screen. I think I can use the same sort of concept here and just change it up slightly. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to let's go and set up some portals first, I think. We'll place that one there so that one is ready. And we will drop through there like that. So what I'm actually going to do I'm going to place my time portal. I will respawn the cube, go through and reshoot my portal over there. As you know, what I'm going to do is I'll respawn the cube, then I will come through to here, switch the times, and then once I've switched the time, it's got to be done relatively quickly because the cube's going to be going in and out of this portal here. The, once I switch the time, I'll switch the orange portal to there. And that should allow everything to go through just nicely. Got to chamber 18, crazy? Nice. Nice, nice, nice. Alright, so that's, that's the theory and that's the principle. Okay. So I need that to come through into the other dimension here. That and then that. Good. There In we go. In case you were curious, no, we cannot make infinite clones of you because of the stupid rules of quantum oh. mechanics. Only once you die can we take your atoms right. and recreate your body for continued perpetual testing. No worries. No worries, Doctress. No worries at all. So yeah, having a little think about that uh, in between streams definitely helped out. I thought I was on like, the right idea of like having to get the cube to go through uh, in between the two, but um, obviously yesterday at the end of the stream I wasn't quite sure how to actually properly pull that off, but we managed to do it um, today at least. Well, let's hope we don't get bogged down with what the mechanics do and don't do today. And we can actually just like sort of crack on with different bits and pieces. These lasers should provide a fun change of pace. Please be aware that some test elements may only be functional in one timeline. Okay. I'm not going to worry about lasers. Alright, so... Let's think about what we're going to do here. We need to place that there, right? But there is no way to do that, so... Um... Um... Sure? Sure. Um. Sure. Let's just. Let's just roll with it. <laughs> okay. It's like it's coming out of the portal, but it's not coming out of the portal. It's like all around, like. Because it, it thinks there's a portal there. That's weird. Crazy. Thank you very much for the host, buddy. Thank you very much. Appreciate it. Appreciate it indeed. Alright, so what I'm maybe thinking is, instead of doing that... 
thinking what we could probably do is portal there. Portal there, say. Portal there. Then... Oh, there. Great. By now, you might be wondering how it is possible to hear these automated messages, regardless of Ooh, which time inside you're in. What's going on, buddy? I'm we very well, thank you. How about yourself? Directly into your brain. That way, you can hear these messages as if they were the voice of your own conscience. Well, they practically are, considering how much of your cerebral cortex we had to remove to make this work. It's the reason that works is the portal in the past stays in, in position. Or the portal in the present, sorry, stays in position. So obviously we, that doesn't move. So when we move this portal over to here, um, everything is connected up. But yeah, it's, it's pretty cool. It's it's almost like with these puzzles, you've got to kind of think as if you was doing or playing kind of co-op, I guess. With an additional portal of time. <laughs> it's... Time is like the connecting factor for like the two co-ops to um, to come together and to be able to function together. So, all right. So what have we got here then? We have got to activate three laser relays, and then finally we need to activate that as well. And that is a redirection cube. Yeah, I think that was one of my big sticking points yesterday when I was. I to have some issues with bits and pieces. Sort of understanding that philosophy and that mentality. Now, I think this is going to be more of the same. However, Cider Network, thank you very much for the host, buddy. Appreciate it. Okay. I think it's going to be more of the same. However, this time around, we're going to actually use... We're going to have to be using the cubes instead. So... I don't think though, to be fair, um, Doctress, I don't think you'll have too much trouble. If I'm honest. Like... playing the mod, even though you haven't, obviously, played Portal in quite some time. I know you said that you was um, planning on having a bit of a refresher. But honestly, I don't think you're going to have too much trouble. Alright, so we can do something like this. That's going to relay the cube back over there, right? Alright, so... Can we adjust? This is going to make everything go completely wrong. Actually, no. Not necessarily. we've got that age-old portal issue here. Oh, that works. Nope, we're fine. Let's say there's a there's a bit there's always there's an issue with portal where you kind of let me just oh. Oh, because I need to position these portals first, of course, of course, of course. Okay. No biggie. Uh, yeah, in portal there's a weird bug where the a laser will actually bend its positionings. It will bend its position to try and kind of hit a laser cube. 
which is um, sometimes can affect you when you're trying to like set. Is there? Oh, that's a nice little thing. So, laser collision is off. I don't know. Yeah, laser collision's off, but I don't know. Alright, ignore that. It's a comment. Uh, the developers of the mod mentioned that it was for portal veterans. The thing, the thing is, though, um, Doctorus, I would say because of the added like fourth dimension, I, I don't Things necessarily are about to get a little more complicated in the next chamber. But don't lose hope. Think about this. As long as you don't see your own corpse lying in the future, it is safe to assume that you solved the chamber sometime during the last 20 years. Oh, yeah, I wouldn't worry too much about, like, set them saying it's for portal veterans um, as such. To be fair, Doctorus, because I think with the new mechanics that have been added, I wouldn't necessarily agree with the fact that um, you need to be like a veteran as such but that's just my opinion because I think half the game here is going to be like about learning how to do the mechanics as opposed to anything else but like I say that's just my opinion okay so um, that gets Dismantled. We're going to want laser over to there. So we need to activate this and this to be able to do that. So let's think. Let's think. Let's think. Let's think. I could take the laser. Okay, so we take the laser. We can't, I was thinking we could like go through time there, but we can't even go through time there, can we? Because we can't go through the portal as such. I mean, we could probably do some form of cheese, but I mean, this would be like pure cheddar. And I don't think that is particularly intended. So I would rather not do that sort of cheese. I can't really use the laser because the laser is doing something completely different here. How would we activate that the second time? That's the problem, isn't it? Like, once we do that, we don't have a way out of here. Without fizzling some stuff, so... Oh, wait a second, though. Clever. Very clever. Maybe. That's going to go through there. So I could go through here. And... That. Then go back through here. Reset the orange pole through to here. It's fine. It's nothing to be nothing to be really ashamed about, Doctorus. You know, everybody has their own um, their own levels of 
ability. Okay, then I need to do this. That's really neat. Really, really neat. Okay, cube acquired. So now that we have a cube, we can do things a little bit differently. We probably have more. We probably have more abilities now in the present with regards to like getting the cube through, right? Step two. Step two, I guess we're going to get the past cube and position it. So we need to position this one first. Gonna get our cube from the past. Right, maybe I'm overcomplicating that. Bring it through to the past. We're going to want this, though, on the other side, aren't we? We've got to think about what's going to happen, because if we was to... I can't remember. What point does that cube update? Is it immediately when I pick it up? Yes, it is. Okay, so the cube is going to have to go there first. Then we go through to the other dimension. And this is where we set the cube up. We need to take this through to the present, though. that we can come out of here and hop back to the present and now we're up here for getting the cube you don't, don't feel like that uh, don't press no need to feel like that at all now one thing I do feel like I then need to do will be Move the position of that portal to there. And I think we should be done. So. What should happen is. I will go up the stairs here. And I will. Move this cube. That will cause the cube. The past cube. Sorry the future cube to spawn. Because I've updated the position of this. Meaning the laser will go through the portal, hit that one, and I put that cube on that button, and I think we are done. Alright, Dr. no worries. Thanks for stopping by and saying hi. Appreciate it as always. Have a good rest of the day, buddy. Take care. You solved it. And you were pretty quick about it, too. Great work. Yeah, I think we're... I think I'm I'm feeling really confident now in like the mechanics and how everything works. So quite interested now to see how these last um these last ten puzzles kind of go with regards to sort of like difficulty level. I was talking to some people um We tried many times to open a passage to the future, but this connection exactly twenty years from now is the only one stable enough to last longer than a few microseconds. 
Um, I was showing some people about this like outside of the stream yesterday and, and off camera and I don't know, I, I, I kind of felt after my initial playthroughs that I, I feel like they could have maybe extended the tutorial process um, a little bit further, a little bit more. And in the past I've been critical of mods for sort of being over tutorially, but I feel like this one needed to be more tutorially. Especially when I think it was Chamber 8 yesterday, we got to it and I missed a bit of the dialogue and it kind of like left me thinking, well, what am I supposed to do? I, I was really kind of confused yesterday as to what it was I needed to do. But uh, all right, so. I need to get that um, portal cleared, I think is what I need to do. Hold on, that's not going to affect anything though here, is it? Okay, so we do that, we do that, then we're probably going to want to do to there, right? Gives me some more. Gives me some more height, but I mean, ultimately. Ultimately. I could have done that, I suppose. Play that a little bit. Go through here. Good. The second half of this testing course is located below you. Unfortunately, no elevator can take you there, so you will have to take the stairs. That's fine. Um. Okay. I suppose that really was as simple as that. It's like you look at some elements and you think, well, I haven't used that. Why did I need that? Like the panel behind the fizzler. Conversion gel probably spilling out that over there. Works too. I'm guessing that there's going to be a yeah, panel. Or we sort of spied these up. So I kind of knew we was going to be doing something about like going around and about here. Can I just like take a shortcut? Does that work? I guess I went too far. My mental puzzles are your favorite type of puzzle, crazy? You might have noticed that something is not quite right here. Oh, really? Remember when we told you that the decay of the facility was completely intentional? Turns out, that was a lie. No. There is a bigger picture here. Your test might be the most important one ever conducted. For now, let's just try to get back on track and keep going. All right. There might like be a way around there to maintain a portal or something, but it's all good. All right, so we're back on a testing track here. All right, time for 17. That's going to bring us into there. Have a quick look at this. Oh, also got to do this one without time as well. That's quite interesting. We don't have 
We haven't walked through a green fizzler, therefore we don't have the ability to change time at the minute. What we do now. Okay. So we have a button there. Our exit is located there. Just flings us high up into the air for some reason. We have some cubes and stuff. Okay. So what do we need the cube for? Cube to the exit. <laughs> uh. Classic. All right. So does this? So let me go back to here. Now, this is going to be interesting because what I don't know is. When I move the other cube, there's no other way to do it. When I touch the other cube, will it automatically update because that one is on the move? timing on here is going to be a little bit the cube on here. Okay, this time. Really? Why am I like getting like a weird... Why am I getting a weird angle on this? There we go. Well done. 
Since All right, the so. catwalk to the next chamber appears to be non-existent, you can rely on the power of aerial faith plates to get you there. It's quite interesting that, despite the fact that in the... If I just save here, just, just test this out a minute, just test this theory. Surely in the, few, in the present... Yeah, that's still going. So, I guess what we can learn or what we can take from this is that the cube in the future only updates when the cube in the present touches the floor, I guess. That kind of breaks the way from the concept that we um, previously had, though, doesn't it? Hello, companion cube. This next chamber should really test your observation skills. Take a good look around first, and then decide what to do, and in which order. Alright, well, there's a laser involved. Present. Um, so what case is that there? So we could do something like that. to do anything with that. The laser up there. Could probably just do it the easier way, I guess. And... Okay, so we'll do that to there. Okay, I think I've decided what to do with the cubes. The cubes, I think, are going to... with that. Let me test this theory. Uh, or not. Or sometimes it's so bizarre. My hunch is... be better off. Oh, wait a second. Is that one angled differently? Hold on. Yes, it is. Okay, so what I'm going to do here then is... Oh, but that's not there, so I can't use that to there. I'm pretty sure if I fire a portal on here and go through to here, that's going to be a different portal. Okay, so, um, instead, what if we do this and this? Get some height, swap it out for a time portal. Okay, so then here we can just simply do 
that and that. I think. And then, yeah, and swap it out again. And do that. And I hate zooming in. Put my time portal here. And that allows me to get back over to here. But... Uh, it's just not a big thing. I just have made a silly mistake of leaving my cube in place there. But... Simply respawn this cube. Like there. And then I can take this one. I can't put a time pole there because they're in different states. What I can do is I can take that now. Maybe the time portal here will do something different though. I'm going to save that because I'm going to have to get rid of that portal there, aren't I? And we can go down here. Everybody, let's... Alright, back to it. Sorry about that. Um, so, we have cube here, cube there. Now... I think that actually does a lot for me. Let's so maybe try and get up to the other side first, perhaps. Just like that. You are the first test subject to ever make it to this point. Woo. In fact, you Get are ready. the first test subject to ever survive a trip to the future. At all. Those are confident. Very confident. Um, just, pe people have, um, people just have things, they're busy at uh, different times of day, crazy. So, you know, I always say, I don't, I don't care whether there's one person or 100 people here. Um, it's all good to me. Just enjoy playing the games and streaming them. And what's going on, Sam? Welcome along. Hope you're well. These light bridges are great for traversing over deadly ground. As with the lasers, you will often only have one of these at your disposal. So use them wisely. Right. So, let's see where we can get, shall we? How am I enjoying it? I am really enjoying it, actually. It's it's good. I haven't really had any, like, major gripes with it as of yet. So, we are 
good way through it now. But yeah, all good so far. Right, let's take the cube. over to here so probably this is the point in the puzzle it's not worth doing that yet though is it because once we move this cube that one's going to move well so i wonder though if did position i was just wondering whether or not um like with the faith plates whether or not Um, <clears throat> whether or not with the faith plates you change the positioning of sorry when the cube is off the ground I should say whether or not that would have an effect on things Let's think about this. That's going out of there. So surely if I move that to there, yeah, it should still have my portals, my light bridge. So, like I said, it's, it seems a few of these puzzles are kind of like an extension of almost like co-op. So if you can think about how co-op maps would work, then you've got a good chance of sort of like solving how these ones work. So what we're going to do now is we need to drop down the portal, don't we? I'm just going to save quickly just in case. Time portal to there. Oh, I need to go through time. Sorry. Yes, so that one updates. Now we're going to want to do this. Put the cube from here. And then bring it back to the present. Good thinking. Good. With all this talk about time travel, do you ever question the meaning of it all? Do your actions have any consequences? Or are we all just following the deterministic path of the universe? Oh, Here's like... a fun experiment. Listen carefully. The next thing you will do is jump in three, two, one. It appears that nothing is predetermined or in any way predictable. I wonder what it would say. I wonder if there's a different response if I had have actually jumped there. I wonder. Alright, this is chamber 20. I thought it was only 19, but this is 20. Okay. There is indeed. Oh, okay. Interesting. Okay, we've seen this sort of thing before. So, we have a light bridge. Like that is set. Where is this going to end up? It's going to go to there. So, all right. First question first. Does it auto respawn? Answer is no. Okay. So do this. Let's check out what's different in the future then. Over here. There is a light bridge here. Okay, so what I feel like we might need to do. Set this one like this. Then go through 
and set our portal to here like this. Okay. Okay, I think that's right. Okay. Boy, it's getting complicated. <laughs> I'm not going to lie, it's getting pretty complicated. So. Do this. Okay, we have a cube. Fantastic. So. Now. We're going to want to put a cube up there, aren't we? Okay, so I think actually what we're going to want to do is place this one in its place first, then go to get the other cube. So, we'll do this, followed by this. Then we'll take this cube. And place this cube here. So, uh, um, all right, let's save here a minute. What happens if I right, did that instantly move? That's what I want to kind of know here. Does it instantly move? Yes, it does. But it comes back. Which is fine. Caused the cube to buzz out a little bit there. Okay. Here's a change of plan. Here's a change of plan. What can I change of plan? Can I lift that up off the button? Okay. Cube swap. Cube swap. I 
actually. That's what I want to do. Take this one. And... Something like this. Drop this one a little bit. But then how would I... So now I would need to move that key there, wouldn't I? Hey, wreck the rocks. Would that work if it was back to how it was originally, though? Let me think. So I would Do I maybe need to be doing some Possibly. Possibly. Would have gone to there, then. <clears throat> excuse me, I can't do anything without then clearing that queue. So I feel like that has to be the. This cube, right? this cube What if What if Okay, what if, what if, what if What if you need to know? Right, I'll look. Okay, what I think I need to do. Oh, well, because that doesn't have anything on there. I think that restricts me to doing this in the future, doesn't it? Yeah. Huh.
So what I was contemplating there was... I could have done something potentially like this. go to there. That would need to go there. Once this one is gone, it doesn't matter. Because what I can do then from here would be... that to there and then gonna need to go elsewhere of course moving that will update the one in the past so that's why that happened oh, sorry the present future. I've <laughs> well, like I said, I was wondering whether or not... Yeah. Exactly, that's why it's so confusing. Um, it's obvious that both cubes have got to come through to this side. And I say it's obvious because... Because... And there's no way to... There's no laser in the past. Or the future. There's no laser in the future. Therefore, I won't be able to extend this. So what I need to do is I need to block the laser to drop this down. So yeah, I need to take this. Block the laser with this. Which drops that. From here, I can move this position again. So that should fall on there, right? Let's let's set this up again. Let's, everything is in the correct positions. Wow, 
But I don't need it there. I need it in the. I need it in the present, not the future. Okay, so what should happen here is I move the Yeah, okay, I think I think this is it. I think this is it. I'm going to move the time portal, which will drop this one down below. I think it's right, but I think I need to have the cube from the future at the top. And then do exactly the same thing, so have a portal from the time portal holding that up. So I can drop that down. So once I move that, that will take me up and I can stand on there. And then, what from there? Maybe it's just as simple as. Hold on, let me let me think about this again before I make any action. The only cube that I can really move is this one. I think by having that there suspended by that. First thing I want to do is move this up, so I need to drop this. That has to, so the cubes have to swap. The cubes have to swap. Um, so the way to do that actually is don't have to move that. I can just do this. But then where does this one need to go? This one would need to go down below. I need to get this one in position first, of course. This one is actually going to be held up in position by just portals like this. I think. That's the problem because I need to pull this out. I should have put that one there. Okay, now I can check the portals without affecting anything here. So, um, like this over here. Place that up there. Place that on there. The only thing I don't know about this is I have made a mistake with this one. I think this actually needs to sit here. I 
where it needs to sit over somewhere. But not necessarily there, actually. Right, let me reload that save, because I think I'm getting close. And I, I'm over time, but I want to I wanna get this before I finish up today. Alright, so... Do this. This goes over here. Just those guys. Everybody, let's let's take a moment and let let's pray. Okay, so uh, what was I doing? Taking this through to the few the present. Like so. Okay, save there. So, if I'm right about this. Big if. But, let me now do this. There. Uh, That needed to be somewhere else. All right, so that one doesn't want to be there. That needs to actually be positioned to the side, away from this button. Almost there, though. Grab the cube. Place the portal. Place the time portal. Okay. We should have saved on the top there. But now this should, he says, work. So, remove this. Now we can move this one. You are a very smart test subject. If the universe brains. really was deterministic, <laughs> we would have already known the outcome of this test, which might make this compliment seem unnecessary. If you feel that you have been receiving too many compliments, feel free to ignore the previous statements. Oh, I have not been receiving too many compliments at all. Don't you, don't you worry about that. But, um... Yeah, there we go, guys. It looks like we are done and dusted for today. Thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. I appreciate your support. And I'm actually going to head on and throw a raid to a fellow streamer. But, um, yeah, thank you very much, everybody, for tuning in. Uh, we'll be back tomorrow, probably finishing this off. We're quite close now. We've got about five more chambers to go. So if you are around, please come by, stop by, and say hi. But until then, guys, thank you very much. I've been Nock. You've been awesome. Take care. See you later. Happy gaming.